I'm Carson from Nashville Radio. Went to Rocklahoma last year, and one thing that could not be ignored was the single female singing on stage with the bright red hair. It's Felicity. We saw you Saturday morning with Bang Tango. And you were a fixture through the rest of the weekend. Saw you flung around backstage, saw you getting back on stage. This year, what's your role going to be? You getting back up there? Um, well, I'm really not at liberty to say, but I wouldn't say it's impossible. I'm thinking someone's bringing you up. I have absolutely no doubt we have to get the females back up there because um, this is a male-dominated field, but you were up there and we were talking earlier about how people were looking at you in pictures because, you know, we were there front row of Bank Tango and everybody had the pictures going, who's that? Who is she? And you said it's doing some really great stuff for your career. Yes, yeah, it really has. And I, uh, I actually have been in quite a few major rock and roll magazines worldwide, um, East Coast, all the way to London, Italy, and all over, all over the world. And this is all because of rock and roll. And I have been asked to sing this year, but I really can't say who yet. And I, but it was one of the most thrilling experiences of my life. And the people are amazing. Well, we were discussing that with a couple of the other bands about how it's this weird, familiar atmosphere because it's not just four days of rock and roll. Because I would just say, hey, I went to a concert, I went home. That there are people who met at Rocklahoma who were married. In about a month, we're going to have the Rocklahoma babies because we're about eight months in. And then even like people like us who just as DJs and don't get me wrong, my job kicks ass that I get to you know play music, talk to people like you, and I get paid for it. But there was something so special about this that it wasn't the run of the mill like going to a concert, seeing some great music. It was it was just so communal that you know you're vibing off the audience, the audience is vibing off you, and it was just a huge mass of 30,000 brothers and sisters. It was really quite. I felt that the people all all across the board that are in Oklahoma from Rock, Oklahoma, Rocklahoma, were just so down to earth, so loving, so helpful and happy and genuinely into the whole rock and roll experience. And that made it more exciting for me. And I know, as far as I can tell, all the other artists that I was friends with and know and was hanging out with, we were all so impressed with how everybody, it was such a big family and a big party. It's all good. It's all really fun. And the, the word that's always thrown around is reunion. It yeah. feels like it's yeah. a high school reunion or like some sort of like, you know, going back to a fraternity deal. Again, yes. you and I, we'd have to say sorority. Um, but, you know, maybe we were the sweethearts. Yeah. So, but that's what it really is, that there's just this, there's so much more going on than just four days of music. And even like you said, the things that are happening for you, you know, with yeah. movies and publications yeah. and all this off just a little stage in... Fire Oklahoma, who knew? Well, you know what? It became international is what happened. And and also you have to understand the quality and the level of talent. And it wasn't one day, it was four days, and it was all day, every day. And it, the lineup is just incredible. And I think everybody, we all felt like it was, I mean, it was all friends. Everybody was getting together and saying, hey, how you doing? We're all catching up and meeting new people and making new friends. So I think that was part of the magic, that it wasn't just one day. It wasn't just three bands. It was so many wonderful bands. It was just such a good time. And even Sunday night came and we had to leave because I had to be back at work. And like just driving out was so pathetically desperate because we're thinking we don't want to go we're not ready to leave and even yeah. you know talking to a couple of the other guys they're saying you know what we're coming a day early and we're yeah. leaving a day late I yeah. mean and that's that's what the guys and creatures say mm -hmm. and if that's indeed the case well that's how I'm booking my plane oh yeah well that's we, how didn't, we did not want it to end we were sad we didn't want it to end I, I had no idea it was gonna be that incredible and that magical and we just didn't want it to end and then we we have to come back next year. Even if we're not performing, this was wonderful. Luckily, you know, the beautiful creatures are, and, you know, uh, just so many wonderful bands. So they've, they've said quite a few, but I think there's a few that haven't been announced. There have been rumors, yeah. and I'm not going to say who they are on camera, 
Um, because I don't want to be the one in trouble for that, but we can talk about that in a moment and see what our predictions are. But yeah, that was actually, um, we were up with Tesla two nights ago. We were talking to them about it and said, so the rumors are flying. And they said, well, yeah, okay. We're, and I said, and that was just cool, adding more friends to the fold. You know what I mean? The extended family, everybody's coming in. And especially the lineup this year, there are so many bands that I never got the chance to see, right. which is enormous. So I'm sure you as a performer, while you love to be on stage, it's got to be the coolest thing really to get is. to see other people do their thing. Yeah, it really is. And then, of course, you get to meet them. You get to hang out with them, and they, they're people. And, and you see this other wonderful part of these artists that you've loved and listened to you for so many years and then all of a sudden there they are oh, I know, you start, that's when you turn into like a 14 year old like oh my god look who's over there and boys don't necessarily do that but yeah. but girls we but get a little but everybody's we get a, a little crushy. we're, we're exactly. all fans we're all fans obviously this is what i've learned is that all of us are fans of music and rock and roll and that's why we started all of this so all of us are fans so no matter what level of musicianship or fame we're all fans so we all get excited absolutely just as excited as I am to sit here and talk to you oh, eight you. months after Rock Oklahoma <laughs> like you know and again it's just it's all coming back so fantastic yeah so we are looking forward to seeing you there again not sure with who but I, ha I have good faith you're gonna be there and I'll definitely be there I need to add where can the uh, Nashville our brothers and sisters of rock and roll who could not be here today where can they find you? Well, there's two places you can find me. Um, you can find me on my MySpace, which is www.felicitieshot, which is one word, F-E-L-I-C-I-T-Y-S-H-O-T dot com, or on the uh, website that uh, Nikki Six gave me, since I'm on the Girls, Girls, Girls album. And that's a professional site um, called theaterofpain.net. It's all small case, all one word. And you can hear music of mine, interviews that I've done on different radio stations, several songs, and thousands of photos with uh, basically a lot of my career. And then uh, some clips of the two vampire movies I'm currently starring in and acting in. You are all over the place. So yeah, there's no excuse to not be able to find you. And I think you can link through, um, I know Hyde's got you on his MySpace, Absolutely. and I have yet to, I have to, I have to add, it's my bad, so yeah, yeah, it's about my turn, so fabulous, well thank you so much ma'am, and you. we'll see you, um, can't wait for the party, uh, <laughs> and then definitely out there. Okay, most appreciated. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you both. Sweet.